Hello Cancer, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecast with your reading for the first half of October from the 1st through the 15th. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout your reading. So we'll be focusing on how your person feels about you and of course how they feel about the connection itself. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some insight here for you, Cancer. And this could also be for cross watchers. So let's grab whatever message come through from this deck. This one's my own Heavenly Hearts Oracle deck. For Cancer, you make my heart soar above the clouds. Let's grab one more. I love it when you call me just because. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one more message from a different deck. This one is the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. For Cancer. Maybe you guys interact quite a bit via text or phone calls or even on social media. And if you're the one reaching out, Cancer, they could be telling you through this reading that they actually like that. And, you know, no reason whatsoever. You're just reaching out. But that could also have been something that they enjoyed doing. All right, let's grab one more message. I'm finally getting my life together. So instinctively with these three messages, Cancer, I'm feeling when it comes to you, there might be a situation here between those of you who might have broken up or separated because they didn't have their act together before. But when they think about you, it still brings a very uplifting energy into their heart space. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some insight and see what else we can learn. So when they, they think about you, it still brings up happy memories, I feel. And maybe you are the reason behind this person improving the quality of their life or throwing a lot of that energy into bettering themselves. All right, so let's pull some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection tarot here for Cancer. Well, we've got the Empress showing up. So Divine Feminine, you are showing up in this reading here. So maybe you have a Divine Masculine who's worked diligently on improving who they are as a person. And of course, the Empress can represent this maternal influence. Some of you could have had a family together. Maybe you guys talked about starting a family. Some of you could have been married or in a committed partnership. But this could have resulted in a separation if they did not have their act together for whatever reason. Look at this. So we've got the judgment card coming through. And maybe Divine Feminine, you went through your awakening first in order to get your life right as well. But I'm also feeling we might have a masculine who reaches out to the feminine. If at one point in time it was you, the feminine, that enjoyed reaching out to your masculine perhaps more than they did, I feel... This time around, it could be the masculine who's going to have to do all the legwork in order to resurface in your life. We do have the Six of Cups. So that is clarification that they think about you and they think about you often. There's something tied into these happy memories. And then we've got the Ten of Cups. So again, I feel for some of you guys, you were either committed in a partnership. Maybe you guys were together a long time or you were married, family. So when, when you guys broke up, maybe the family dynamic separated as well. 
but there's happy memories here and that's a part of the past. And here's clarity, here's breakthrough from the Ace of Swords, which is a beautiful card coming through. Some realizations came to light for this person. They want to start again. And whatever wasn't working in the partnership before, I feel that needed to be removed in order for that to not be a factor anymore. And it really does come down to what they're willing to do about this in order to bring you guys back together because the lover's card can represent those choices. Could also represent Gemini specifically. We do have Taurus coming in as the Empress, but of course, Divine Feminine, you could represent more than just Taurus. I'm just feeling here that whoever it is that you're thinking about, they haven't really moved on beyond you. They're, they're still thinking about you even after all this time. Look at this. We've got the chariot and chariot represents cancer. So I feel not only is this really significant for some of you, but it could also represent that whatever difficult times you might have experienced in the past with somebody, you're not going to be in that low vibrational energy and you're going to be moving on from that if you haven't already. Or maybe by severing ties with someone, you have found love elsewhere. But I feel that with the judgment card coming through, there will be someone returning or wanting to return when it comes to your romantic life, certainly. Let's see what else. What else for Cancer? And we've got the King of Wands showing up. So that's representing Leo right there. So part of the issue sometimes with the King of Wands is they still want to explore their options. Okay. And that could have been the decision maybe that a masculine made by back then. But they now see things in a very different way. And part of what it is that they're focused on is wanting to be a part of the feminine's life. What else for Cancer? We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you're both showing up here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I feel there have been a lot of lessons learned along the way. And the Queen of Pentacles is known to be very nurturing, very giving, very generous. So I feel that maybe Divine Feminine, you gave more of yourself back then rather than the masculine giving to you. And that could have created an imbalance in the relationship. But I feel there has been a shift in that energy. So how they feel about you is what we're taking a look at here. I'm also feeling, Cancer, that the person that you're thinking about, there's something about you that makes them happy doesn't matter how long it's been since you guys have connected or interacted with each other. And we see that with the Six of Cups, that thinking about you makes them happy. It brings them joy to be able to think of you. I'm also feeling, even though the masculine could have a particular vision of what it is that they're wanting in the future, unless the feminine is on board... It could also just be a fantasy of theirs to want to reunite and come back together. Clearly, with this tower, you guys parted ways, and it could have been a very painful breakup. We also have the Four of Wands. So there is a possibility for a reunion here. 
and I, I can't help but feel for this particular reading, Cancer, some of you guys were or are still married, but there's a chance to reunite. If it's not that, then there's the opportunity for future marriage here for some of you. And if you're not interested in a reunion, there's also the possibility for new love to come in. For those of you who are single right now, maybe you're just concentrating on your own life. Maybe you're not interested in coming back into union with anyone, and that's fine. You know, because the Ace of Cups can also be focused on wanting to be able to focus on yourself and to be able to fill this cup if you feel that it's just empty from all of the challenges that you've been through. And we do see the Two of Swords. So we do have a stuck stalemate energy for some of you because you might not be interested in this person anymore, but they could come back to get the conversation started but you might not even entertain the idea of coming back together. This could also indicate a completely brand new connection that comes into your life, Cancer, or maybe you've already moved on to a much stronger partnership after having experienced this tower moment. So some situations are done, you know, but it does indicate that someone from your past might try to contact you. It, of course, is up to you what you decide to do with that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab another set of cards here for you, Cancer. Okay, so how do they feel about the connection itself? I'll be pulling from my Heart Space Oracle here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for a Cancer. How do they feel about the connection? You had me at hola. So if you happen to not speak Spanish, <laughs> it could be any language that you need it to be. But that might be a very significant message for those of you who relate to that. Let me grab one more. So maybe right from the start, you know, you guys... Um, the conversation just flowed. So this one says, I'm 24 carats. You went after fool's gold, you fool. So that might actually make sense for some of you, especially if there were third party situations or infidelity. And if your person decided to pursue another person and it ended up not being what they wanted after all. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my yummy tarot this time. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Cancer. And for some of you, you might even relate to that message where you went after somebody feeling like it could have really been a great partnership and because they ended up not being a very good choice. Maybe they made a fool out of you, but you could also be feeling that they might have fooled you once, but it's not gonna happen again. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is about equal give and take. So that could have been lacking for some of you, and that's what you're expecting in a partnership. We have the Wheel of Fortune, representing that things can turn around good karma, good luck, of course, whatever is destined for you, that's what you're meant to experience. There's something about the King of Wands that's presenting itself in your reading, Cancer, so that does represent Divine Masculine Leo. They're ready to take the lead in a situation. They're coming through as a very passionate person. They could also have a very magnetic, warm personality. All right, so let's see what else here. So it seems the masculine wants to come in. We have a reverse card here, which is the Seven of Wands. 
All right, so in the upright, that does represent challenges, but in the reverse, it could represent somebody who's either giving up. It could be that they don't have the confidence that is needed in order to pursue something. It could also be an indication that they're feeling overwhelmed. So let's see what else. That could have also been how they made you feel, Cancer. Yeah, it's coming through from the Divine Masculine. So if they weren't feeling confident before, I feel coming in as the King of Wands as well as the Emperor, there's been a shift in that energy. Here's the star. Look at this. We've got the Six of Cups again. So that is clarifying here, Cancer, that this person is thinking about you and ultimately being guided back to you somehow. They're still hoping for a second chance with you. And I feel it's just a matter of time before they either reach out, send you a message, try to reconnect with you. They clearly want to have a reunion with you. And then we've got the two of wands right here, two paths. So you both have to decide for yourselves whether or not this is worth pursuing. Or are you both going to go your own separate ways and stay that way? Let's see what else here. This is quite fitting with the three of pentacles because it does require the two of you working together. There's no other way for that to work, ultimately. And then we've got the magician manifestation. I feel for some of you who are at least open to the opportunity to do so, that there is a chance for you to get back together with your person. But look at that. It is clarifying for some of you that maybe you're, you're not interested, and that's why it's stuck it's at this stalemate you know perhaps you feel like it's just not able to work itself out it might have something to do with some sort of betrayal or infidelity or cheating and you're not willing to take them back regardless of how much they profess to love you or make new promises that they intend to keep whatever the case might be some of you might just be completely closed off to allowing this person to come in a second time. You know, going back to, you fooled me once, but you're not gonna fool me twice. So, all right, so let's go ahead and grab some final messages here. So take any part of that, of course, that resonates with you. What I am feeling is someone from your past who will be reaching out to you, Cancer. And everybody has their own free will. So it's up to you, of course, whether or not you even start the conversation or engage in the conversation. All right, let's grab some closing messages from the Stay Inspired Oracle Cards by Sister Moon Tarot. All right, what do we have here? For cancer, free yourself. That makes sense. Followed by restoration. And then we have love. Okay, this is your life. Don't live it restricted by your past or the opinions of others. Write a new story. And for cancer, I feel that's quite fitting considering we are seeing two cards that came through as the two of swords you know no progress no movement no interaction it's at a stalemate it's stuck there's stagnancy there and it's stagnant more than likely because you're not interested in creating any sort of reunion or movement or interaction with someone from your past so take that if it makes sense however for some of you, you might be interested in that. So I feel it's also interesting how we've got restoration coming in right after this. So for those of you who are not interested, 
that's your message. For those of you who would be open to a reunion with someone, this is yours. So it does say restoration. What was meant to go had to leave. What is meant to stay will always find a way to restore. So if it really is meant for you guys to come back together, I feel life will find a way to make that happen for some of you. Okay. And then lastly, we've got you are more loved than you see or know. All right. You're surrounded by love, whether that's family, friendship, or of course, romantic love. It is surrounding you at this point in time. Some of you might also be pet lovers. It could be something to do with your pets, their unconditional love. So that's a beautiful thing as well. Bottom of the deck, I just happened to notice it. It's focus. And it does say wherever your focus is, is what expands in your life. Focus on the positive. So rather than focusing on situations that bring you down or upset you or cause you to feel frustrated, try to create that shift in your energy and your vibration by focusing on things that you really have the capability to manifest and bring it into the 3D. All right, Cancer, so I'll leave that there. Hopefully there is something in the messages that resonate with you. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Take care.